Outer Limits is presented by Night Force Optics. Precision optics for precision shooting. but that's that's definitely I think that's a good one. Oh yeah. Yeah he's oh we're good totally a keeper. morning everybody's just teasing me so this episode we're doing a little I don't know what do you call it like surfing surf and surf, surf and turf, and turf. <laughs> uh, we're here and we're literally on the coastline of Western Oregon and uh, we're doing a little crabbing we're doing a little salmon fishing and then we're gonna try to have some success here and then eventually migrate our way inland and do some black tail deer hunting so we're here with Evan with Coastline Outfitters and we're just getting this thing started. We actually got two keeper two. crabs, right? Yeah, we ended up with two. Yeah, we've only had the pots in 30 minutes, probably. Yeah. We're kind of prospecting the pots around right now and so, trying to get them in the right spot. They do a lot of, uh, there's this fish out here called shad, and they're kind of a warm water, like, I don't know, they're not like a trash fish, but they're not really a game fish or whatever. Yeah. Unlimited amounts and crazy, you catch 100 and some a day. That's the bait they're using because they keep that and then, uh, I don't know, do you find it or do anything or just Stop. freeze it all? I just, them. I freeze them whole, we save them in the springtime when we catch them. And then we save them whole and then I chop them up and throw them in the bait bags and they make great crab bait, so. It must be really good because like you said, 30 minutes and yeah. we already had stuff going on, so. crab, we just need the bigger ones. You know? We're not going too crazy, we just got two on that side and two on this side. So, what do you think? You're up next? You gonna, you gonna, gonna pull, pull you some back pots? the action or what? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> We got three keepers in there. Good deal. Those are some big dogs. From you again? No, this one's pretty aggressive. Okay, you get him. He's, he's That's what yeah. This segment is brought to you by the Night Force 5 to 25 by 56 Enhanced ATAC R Rifle Scope. Features a lightning fast 30 minute per revolution zero stop turret, a 34 millimeter tube allowing for 120 minutes of adjustment, and ED glass producing brilliant images and exceptional color contrast. The new Zeiss Victory RF laser range finding binocular provides you accurate ranges and ballistic corrections from 11 to 2,500 yards. A fully customizable ballistics platform, Bluetooth connectivity, and a phenomenal binocular all in a compact and lightweight unit. The new Zeiss Victory RF is EOL's range finder of choice. 
So if he wants to take drag, you want to let him have a little? He's still, he's still out there that's a little bit. That's a swing this way, Chris. <laughs> we got him in the net. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. Yeah. Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, you're good. You're good. <laughs> hey, yes. we got one. Yes. <laughs> Double hooked and that's good. Oh, Sweet. got both in there. That definitely helps. Out of the way. Yes. There he is. Sweet. Beautiful chrome fish. Grab him up. Oh, buddy. Awesome. Well, you didn't get the first one, but you got the second one. Nice fish. That's cool. Woo. He's going to be good. Yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. We had an epic day today. We had so much fun. We're out here on the Sayusla, which I've never actually fished or crabbed out here, but we did great at crabbing. We got probably 20, 25 Dungeness crab, which good ones. Some good ones. we're going to enjoy the heck out of tonight. Um, and then I caught the one and only fish, actually had two on, made one of them, got one of them to the boat and uh, it was fun. It was a fight. He was, he was fighting. It wasn't a huge fish by any means, but any fish in this boat was good. Yeah. And <laughs> you, got the skunked. only female, had all the action on your rod and all the guys got skunked. So I don't know what it was, you. but I guess it was my lucky day. <laughs> so he'll have to take me fishing with him more often. Yeah. All right. So crab boil tonight. Crab boil tonight. And then we move on tomorrow. We're going blacktail hunting. Yep. So.
This segment of Extreme Outer Limits is brought to you by Benchmark Barrels, the rifle barrel of choice for long-range hunters, competition shooters, and sports shooters worldwide. Ask for one on your next re-barrel or custom rifle build. This segment is brought to you by MOA Rifles, now offering their Extreme Series actions. Built with long-range performance in mind, MOA actions are constructed to handle the most advanced bullet and cartridge combinations on the market. For information, visit MOARifles.com. This segment is brought to you by Trigger Tech Triggers. With the most advanced technology in the industry, Trigger Tech Triggers offer the most precise, consistent, and dependable triggers for your rifle. On the range or in the mountains. Well guys, here's a little update. Uh, we're finally getting some weather. I know I keep harping on the weather, but with blacktail hunting, it's probably more critical than any other hunt we do. Uh, and of all things, rain is what helps it. But I'm just preaching to the choir for you guys that know this Western blacktail hunting. Um, so we've been just covering ground, parking, walking, short jaunts, and checking big canyons. And uh, just down in this one here a few moments ago, we turned up a legal buck. Um, you know, it's it's crazy. We, we've been doing this so long, we don't want to shoot immature deer. And that's a tough one because that deer is completely immature. It's only a couple years old. It's, you know, real small antlers, but it's legal. And in a lot of this country, guys don't let legal bucks go. I mean, heck, that deer could cost us the episode. I mean, that could be the only legal deer we see on this hunt. But we're gonna let it go. We're gonna get our packs and some bags and, and do some other things to get ready for the rain because as far as I can see it's it's just coming down and hopefully as the day goes on and even into tomorrow, tomorrow's our last day, this rain will just keep hammering and these deer will feel a little more comfortable to come out to the tree lines and we'll just keep hitting the glass and hitting the glass until hopefully we turn up something a little bit more mature and uh, try to make something happen so stay with us. zillion spots we've turned up a buck laying down it's in this huge unit on this roll on this flat and it's bedded just to the right side of a marker that we've given Chris but we got to get her on it looks like a pretty good boxy frame buck this segment of Extreme Utter Limits was brought to you by the Extreme Shooting School, an information-packed two-day class. For more information, go to ExtremeUtterLimitsTV.com. This segment of Extreme Utter Limits is brought to you by the all-new Extreme Heavy Hybrid line of Burger Bullets. Extreme, rated best in class, ballistic coefficient, heavy, delivers the greatest amount of kinetic energy per caliber. Hybrid will extend the effective range of your rifle. Go to the Extreme store to get yours today. 
This segment is brought to you by the Extreme Store, now offering an exclusive McMillan Game Hunter Universal Inlet Stock, capable of accepting all Remington clone actions in a wide variety of barrel contours. For more information, visit www.extremestore.us. 484 yards. It's calling for five and a half minutes, but I'm taking one more click off for that cold bore shot. Dead. Excellent shot. Stoned him dead. <laughs> Done. <sighs> you took a little time, but you can shoot, kid. Yes. <laughs> well. Uh, <laughs> I got that jittery, like, holy oh, man, I, cow, it all came yeah, together yeah, feeling. He didn't move. No. Oh, gosh, I don't know. I get excited. <laughs> I get excited. The deer and I, have been <laughs> thin. You know, that's the yeah. thing, so... To finally find a buck and oh, that's we, a respectable buck too he's yeah, got a nice yeah. frame and i saw some front forks and, yeah. And, yeah i i've i've been at this game for what four years since i've actually probably three connected anyway. with a yeah this might tail. be your fourth season or yeah third anyway it's so. my nemesis if i i have many of them but this is definitely one that gets me going all the time so the oh, fact it's, that it's, we connected is awesome. Yeah, it's in the way the weather's been and the way the deer numbers have been. Yes. It's been tough. And so when you do see that white face finally. Dude, when I came is, around oh. and I'm like, it's a buck. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think everybody was like, I think huh? you get more excited. Yeah. I'm like, let's go. That's, that's Everybody's so like, go where? I'm like, let's kill this deer. Yeah. <laughs> well, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Three point. Yep. <laughs> Set these down. <laughs> He's still laying right in his bed. His antlers aren't as light as you were thinking. I just, I'm so used to seeing them. I guess when they're soppy wet and they're just darker. It was and, lighting or something. Yeah, right? yeah. In the spotter, I could see the front forks, and I saw that he curled like way in. And I thought, well, with the way he's facing us, he might have fours. Yeah. But he might just be a three. But he's just, Dude, yeah. just a three. A three by three. He's respectable. Mid season. Yeah. You yeah. kidding? We're taking it <laughs> every day. Yeah. This we really passed cool. that little guy this morning. Yep. And we, you know, I kind of talked about how it just wasn't there. You know, it's something that we're just going to pass. But this is the kind of buck that it's like, Dude, you better shoot it, right? Yeah. Because you may not get nothing. So grab that thing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely opportunity. He's, huh? he's, yeah, this is a, this is kind of a staple black tail. You could get bigger and you could get smaller. So exactly, yeah. exactly. And these are coast coast range deer, so they're just they're genetically not quite as big as a lot of other places. But yeah, that's a decent buck. Yeah. Three by three. I'm still just uh, hung up on those antlers looked white at the bases to me. They did. But they're not. <laughs> they're yeah. brown. It also didn't look like he was this close to the timberline, so everything's deceiving in these canyons. I guess so. Yeah. For sure. Well, look at that guy. So short little stubby. I mean, like you said, coastal blacktail. This sure. is tried and true. This is it right here, yeah. guys. Look at how short the nose is, how small the face is. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, this is that true signature little blacktail. It is, and when you when you come to Oregon and, and you look at the different ranges where you're gonna find blacktail deer, you look at the coast range deer, you look at the Cascade range deer, and you look at like Southern Oregon deer. The coastal deer are by far the smallest, smallest. genetically. Yep. Yeah, I mean, they're they're almost more similar to Sitka bucks. I mean, they get yeah. big, but but this is a decent representation of, of a lot of times what you're gonna see. Yep. Well, good shooting, bud. Thank yeah. you, thank you, 400 and we were we were doing the husband and wife quarrel up there, but I just knew it needed to be done with that gun, <laughs> and you were just probably trying to stay on the deer, and I was interrupting. I the whole keep deal, my but... cool, and he gets really excited, so that's what happens. It was go time. Yeah, well, you got a white <laughs> well, you got a white face down there in the unit. It's, it's go time. Well, and I wasn't trying to mess you up. I was just trying to get done what I knew we needed to get done, so that you could put on the shot that you did, which look at his bed. He's that just shot out was awesome. Here. Yeah, he's pretty. He's, he's actually more light colored than a lot of deer you're mm -hmm. gonna see. A lot of times they have a little darker, but he's a pretty deer laying right in his bed. Chris didn't uh, Chris didn't let him get up by any means. <laughs> Nope, so that's another kill with that 156 grain, 6.5 millimeter bullet. And they're they're still so new that a lot of guys haven't had time to switch their 6.5s over to them. Um, but we have had just, this, I mean, this performance right here, yeah. every single time. Oh, like, yeah. they're stone dead every time. Yeah. So, this, 
Man, these things are hard. It's it's really hard. I've debated uh, several times pulling this hunt off the schedule for TV because if you guys have never hunted blacktail guys, I mean, they are the cagiest and the most nocturnal and I don't know, these things just got bad attitudes all the way they, around. Well, they do. And the thing is is, you know, like we talked about, if if you can scout bucks and you can find bucks hard-horned in a unit right before the season, and you watch them right up till the season. You can usually kill them right away. That's yeah. been my experience. I had great luck with that. But as the season goes on and, you know, there's trucks rattling around and there's other gunshots and there's all the commotion, the deer get wary. Yeah. And they, whoosh, they they poof, they're gone. Yeah. So it just becomes harder and harder in the middle of the season. And then you really become dependent on things like the weather. You know, bad weather is going to kick the deer out of the timber and they're going to come out in the open. We started seeing that this afternoon. We've been battling a full moon and just bright sunny days and then you know as soon as we started getting some weather we started seeing more deer this afternoon we wanted you know? that weather last night uh, we but, knew that's what was going to turn yeah. it on but it's just the timing is was just off a little bit yeah yeah and we all have super tight schedules we got mm -hmm. a couple days to get this done so yeah. i'm stoked hey but guess what we completed the actual surf and turf <laughs> yeah we did we, came, we, we actually got, got chinooks and we got a black tail and we yeah. got crabs Oh, that's right. Yep. All in our tight schedule. So yep. Oregon was good to us this year. It was. Just probably good enough. I'll make a horrible decision that we got to try it again. Uh, <laughs> Let's well, do it. We can put it on the schedule right now. Huge thanks to uh, Evan with Coastal and Outfitters. Yeah. We appreciate all your hard work that you put in getting yeah. ready for this hunt for us to come out here. So. Hey, no problem. All right. Time to Pound cut them ground. out. Cut them up and get them off the mountain, guys. So that's yep. all the time we have for this episode. We'll see you guys next week. Extreme Outer Limits, brought to you by McMillan Stocks, Rugged Ridge Outdoor Gear, Night Force Optics, Grip and Pull, the best bullet puller in the world, MOA Rifles, Star Valley Outfitters, and Broken Top Outfitters, and also brought to you by...